This is the Gears of War Judgment Insane Difficulty walkthrough, getting all the stars and completing all declassified challenges. And this is on the Seahorse Hills Section 2, Magada Villages. The declassified challenge for this mission is that uh, the enemies use smoke grenades to make it harder to see. Uh, before you go into this next room, go over here and grab this torque bow. It's useful for taking out the bigger enemies. And as soon as you walk past that couch, there will be three enemies that will charge you. You want to make sure you take them out. That's why I grabbed the Retro Lancer. It's strong and good at close range, so taking these three out is no problem at all. And the, with the smoke grenades... It doesn't make it incredibly hard to see. If you are having trouble, if you press down on the D-pad, it'll bring up the mission objective. And it actually makes it slightly easier to see, I noticed. It might just be me, but that's what I think. Now, I had a hard time getting three stars on this mission. I don't, I don't know what it was, but I, I was... I'm sure I was going about this mission the wrong way, because I, I replayed this mission so many times just trying to get three stars, and I finally got it in this recording. You gotta get quality kills to get your stars up quicker, like, with the torque bow, you can get a headshot with it instead of just sticking it to the enemy and blowing them up, and the headshot, I think, gets you more points. And the way you get the headshot is, when you're charging the torque bow, uh, when you're first aiming it and you start charging it, the impact point, I guess that's the word, it, it'll be blue on your aiming. But if you charge it for long enough, then the end of the aiming line thing will be orange. And that means you can either stick, it'll either stick to the enemy, or if you're aiming at their head, it'll just blow their head off and get the kill. And I feel like that got me more points towards the stars than just normal kills would. Yeah, uh, go here, go over here to the left. There, Those two enemies that came out of that fountain, the, those are the only enemies that appeared down there, and they will always just move over here to the right instead of staying to attack you. And obviously, as you can see, once you're outside, there's no more smoke grenades. Yeah, um... Yeah, just try to get those quality kills. That's, that's the best way to get points. There are also a couple of e-holes, so if you have a frag grenade, or if you had boomers instead of grinders, I have had boomers before. If you have those instead, you can grab a boom shot and close the e-holes if you want. I didn't think a torque bow would be able to do it, so I didn't try. Yeah, as much of a problem as I had with this section, it's a short one. So... There's, there you go, three stars in the same difficulty. And declassified challenge. Barely, son. What's your status? Uh, they've got some big crowd out here leading the attack, sir. Young man, you're fighting animals. Push them into the sea. Do you understand me? Sir, 